Hello everyone, my name is Gavin, and this will be a remake of the player health bar and enemy tutorial that I made a while ago. That was due to poor audio quality. Um, and I'm just going to get started. So to start off, let's go from defaults to game logic and go from blender render to blender game. And let's right click on this cube in the middle. And I'm going to rename this cube as player like this. Player like this. Click on this tab right here and change the physics type to character and click actor. So if we hit P to play, the character will drop because of gravity and hit escape to go out. For our player, what we want to do is have um, add some add a collision property for our player. Actually, no, don't do that just yet. Let's add a material for our player. This material will be blue to indicate our player. And let's do um, Shift and D to copy this cube with our um, player selected. And I'm going to minus this material on our new cube hit new and let's make this material red by clicking diffuse and dragging this over here click this and rename this as enemy enemy like this that way both of them have character physics and they both drop like this what we want to do is on our enemy objects let's have a collision sensor a collision like this I'll just rename it collision all lowercase tap and what's gonna happen is if there's a collision with the property player which we haven't added to our player yet it's going to do a couple of things. It's first going to send a message called damage, like this. And this is essentially going to mean, you know, we're just minusing health from our player. And then after it sends that message, it's going to delete the enemy object. Edit object, end object, like this. So if we connect these to our, um, to our cube like this, or to our enemy object, what we can do now is do spacebar and then add a plane. And on this plane, let's drag it down and hit the letter S and 10 to scale it up 10 times. Drag it over here. And we're going to have it so that this cube or this enemy object will always track to our player. So we're going to have a track to actuator, or an edit object actuator. Set it to track to and put player as the main object. So it's going to track to the player. And we're going to have a motion actuator implying it's going to move towards that player. And we're going to have it move on the, let's say, the Y axis. So if we hit play, we should see the cube is going to move like this. And if we drag this cube over to a corner as well, it is going to track to our player as well from there. But as you can see, for the collision sensor to work, whoops, for the collision sensor to work, there needs to be a property player it's colliding with. So right click on your player and add a game property and call this one player. So if we hit P now we can see it's going to delete upon colliding. And since it's sending the message damage, we're just going to shift and D to copy this cube or the enemy object and drag it over a couple of times. And you can see it's going to work like that. Okay. Now that we have this, what I'm going to do is hit 7 to go on the top view and right click on our player and do object snap and then cursor to selected and do spacebar and then add a camera so we've added a new camera into our game and I'll drag it up and hit 0 to go into our top Whoops. we have another camera in the scene so let's right click this camera and hit X and delete hit 0 to go into our camera view and what I'm going to do is right click on your camera like this you can also do it outside of camera view Hit Z to go into wireframe and then shift and right click on our cube and do control and P to parent it. Alright, I'm now going to go back in the solid view really quick. And let's add a new scene by hitting plus and new. And you may be wondering what we're doing in this new scene, but this is essentially where we're going to create our health bar. So I'm going to call this scene HUD. And hit 7 to go to top view inside your HUD scene and do spacebar and then add a camera again. And now that we've added a camera, what we're going to do is hit 0 to go into our camera view in our new scene and do spacebar and then add a plane hit S and Y to scale this plane down on the Y axis and drag it up like this and drag it over to this corner like this hit S and X to scale it out on the, S, on the X axis and what we're going to do is I'm going to rename this plane as health bar like this and I'm going to apply let's say a blue coloring to our bar like this Okay, now that we have this, 
what we're going to do is go from object mode to edit mode and we're going to um, do something with our health bar hit A to deselect everything hit this um, tab right here to go into line select mode and hit B as in boy and drag over one on this corner right here do mesh snap and then cursor to selected then object transform origin the 3d cursor so we can get our bar to move like this now alright now that we have that, so what we're going to do is on our health bar, let's add a game property called health, like this, and let's set it to 100. All right, let's now go from game logic view to animation view. Hit zero to go into our camera view, and let's go into scene two right now, or our HUD scene, and we're gonna animate our health bar. So the end animation keyframe will be 100, so it's like 100% of our health bar. The default animation keyframe will be 100, and the start animation keyframe will be 0. So we're going to start between 0 and 100, and the current keyframe we're on is 100. Hit I, and then lock scaling like this on frame 100. And then on frame 0, we're going to do S, X, and 0, implying that we've lost all our health. And do I, and then lock scaling. If we hit this play button right here, you can see our health is going to go up but it's not going up very even so there's kind of like little loops where it slows down and speed up so with our health bar selected do key interpolation mode and linear and you can see inside this that these lines are now straight and if we hit play the health bar animation is going to play evenly okay now that we have this let's go back into the game logic view and actually go back in the animation view really quick and click this to make it go to 100. Go to game logic view now and what we're going to do is on our health bar have an always sensor and we're always going to display or have an action actuator. We're going to put property for the type and we're going to play the health bar action on the property health and essentially what this is saying is that it's going to always play whatever property so whatever whatever property this is equal to or whatever number is what keyframe it's going to be on. So if we hit play, it's going to start at 100, but if we set this to 50, it should be noticeably reduced, like that. Set this back to 100, and what we're going to do is if the player receives the message damage, if the player receives the message damage, and I'll have tap selected, what we're going to do is add an edit object act or um, add a property actuator and we're going to add the property health by negative 50 or negative 25 so every time there's a collision that occurs it'll take away 25 percent of the health and connect that to your um your message sensor over here so if we go back into our um, main scene i'm going to right click on one of the enemies really quick and you'll see that when it collides with the player it's sending the message damage which is what our um, health bar is responding to. So it's picking it up on this scene. But if we want to actually display the scene, what we're going to do is right click on our camera and add a sensor always with those first three dots selected and add a um, scene actuator. And for the mode, let's add an overlay scene and let's put scene like our HUD like this. So it's going to overlay the HUD scene like this. Connect that to your camera like this and if we hit play now, we should see that when they collide, the health is noticeably reduced like that. So, what we're going to do is we're now going to see that we've got four enemies. And if we hit zero to go into our camera view, once they collide with the player, the health is going to go down to zero. Because after four hits, um, it'll take away all 100% because four times 25 is 100. So what we're going to do is um, actually save this game. And we're going to have it. I'll just save it as game. What we're going to do is have it so that we um, can restart the game if the player's health reaches zero. So let's go back into our alternate scene. And let's add a property sensor. Um, and we're going to have is it if the health is equal to zero, if your health is equal to zero, like this, what we're going to do is add a game actuator. And let's do... Um, restart game like this. So if the health reaches zero, restart game. One thing I might want to add is if you go into game view right here and do game and then show debug properties and hit this I, 
you can see that the game property health is displayed in the top left corner. That's something that might be helpful. So if we go back into our main scene and do file and save, we should see that every time the health reaches zero, it's just going to restart the game. Alright guys, I hope you guys find this very useful. This is how to make a player health bar and enemy tutorial. Um, so yeah, if you like this video, please leave a like and subscribe.